Unity Engine is an incredibly popular video game and 3D engine that is used by tons and tons of mobile and desktop games. Games like Among Us or Fall Guys among many, many others are made using Unity. The Unity Engine is so popular that it's calculated that 70% of all mobile games are built on Unity. It also has a huge online community that is full of tutorials, courses, forums, YouTube channels and books. It's also very popular among indie developers developers and students because it uses an easy to learn programming language, C Sharp. But the most important thing is free to get started with. If a game makes less than $100,000 a year, which is the case for most students, hobbyists and indie developers, the personal license of the Unity engine is absolutely free. If a game makes more than that, or if the developers want to deploy the game on consoles like Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and Xbox, they will need to get a pro license that is around $2,000 a year. It's a flat fee. So for example, if you made a game with Unity and sold it and made $10 million, your only cost will be the license, the $2,000. If you build the same game with Unreal Engine, another 3D engine, the license would be free, but you would have to pay them 5% after your first million dollars. 5% of 9 million is more than 400 grand. So it's easy to see why the pricing of Unity was so attractive for so many people and why it is so popular. Unity has been very generous for a long time. But as it was announced on September 12th, that is going to change. And that is the reason why so many game developers from big to small companies are outraged with Unity. This has got to be one of the worst price changes in history. And it's not even about money. It's about trust and how Unity broke it, which is why it's going to be so hard for them to recover from this, even if they do a complete U-turn and cancel their plan. Price changes happen all the time and most people understand that companies need to make money. Unity is an amazing product and it's understandable that they need money to keep developing it and to keep the light on. So the problem isn't that the price is changing. It is the way it is changing and how disconnected the management of Unity is from the developer community. People that spend years learning the software and building businesses that rely on Unity are feeling like the rug was pulled from underneath them and are feeling totally betrayed. It is a mess. Hundreds of game studios, including some of the big guys, have announced that they will be switching to another game engine and have made public statements on how bad this change is. So let's unpack the price change as well as the events that followed to understand how big of a catastrophe this is. On the opening paragraph of the announcement, the company wrote that the Unity engine is actually two pieces of software. One is the editor where you make the game and another one is the Unity runtime. The Unity runtime is the wrapper that makes it possible for your game to work on Xbox, PlayStation, iOS and Android. It wraps your game and your code and it makes sure that it can be run on any platform, including the web. And that is what Unity wants to start charging for. They will now charge a Unity runtime fee where developers will have to start paying per install, which is insane. Here is the table that calculates how much a game would pay. So let's pretend we are a small indie dev. First, let's check eligibility. We will have to pay this fee if and only if our game made more than 200 grand on the last 12 months and if our game has been installed more than 200,000 times. If any of those conditions is not met, we don't have to pay a thing. But if both of those things are true, then we will have to pay 20 cents per install. At a first glance, it seems reasonable since most games will not hit those thresholds. But at a second glance, this pricing is actually horrible for mobile games and it could end up on us going bankrupt. Most mobile games are free and they have either ads or in-app purchases. Ads don't pay that much and not everyone that plays the game spends money on in-app purchases. So let's say that we make a game that goes viral with 2 million downloads and we manage to make $250,000 of in-app purchases. That means we will hit both thresholds and have to pay the fee. Paying 20 cents for 1,800,000 installations since the first 200,000 are free will mean that we now owe Unity $360,000 when we only made 250,000 on the first place. We have to give Unity all the money we made with in-app purchases plus more money from our own pocket. We will end up losing money because our game went viral. In contrast, if we made that same game with Unreal Engine, we will not have to pay a thing. And it gets even worse if we think about computer games. You could say this pricing sort of works for computer games, where if you are above the threshold and let's say your game is 30 bucks, giving 20 cents doesn't seem like a big cut. But still, charging per install is a horrible idea because it leaves the door open for bad actors to attack and bankrupt game developers. People could literally coordinate attacks to install your game out of spite to cost you money. And even worse, 
If the game is pirated, the developer will still have to pay every time a copy of the stolen game is installed. So now the question is, how are installs going to be tracked? Will App Stores do it or Steam? No. Unity themselves will count the installs using what they call a proprietary data model. They're basically saying, Trust us, we will know how much to charge you and we will be accurate. When asked questions about reinstalls, the company said that reinstalls on the same device will not come. If that is true, that means they will have to collect identifiable information of the player's device, which might be a privacy violation in places like Europe. They did clarify that if a user installs your game in two separate devices, maybe because they changed their computer, you will have to pay the installation fee twice. If that sounds bad, it gets even worse. You could make the case that Unity is a private company and they have have the right to change the price going forward. And if they gave sufficient notice, game studios could have time to choose to release new games using Unity or go to another engine for their next games. The problem, and what makes this price change so incredibly bad, is that it will not only apply for new games made after the price change. Unity has decided to apply this change retroactively. That means for games that are already released. Games that were made years ago will have to start paying the runtime fee. Imagine that you pay for a Photoshop license years ago. And well into the future, Adobe decides that you have to start paying them money for all the photos you make with Photoshop and all the photos you made 10 years ago. Changing the terms and conditions retroactively is such a mean move. And as some people have pointed out, it might not be entirely legal. Trust takes years to build, seconds to break, and forever to repair. And Unity has broken the trust of developers. It has shown what they can do and how far they will go to charge developers more money. After a week of announcing the price change, Unity seems to finally be listening. And they have announced they will be making changes to the policy after talking to their team, community, customers, and partners. Even if they do a complete U-turn and cancel their plans a hundred percent, the trust is gone. Who is going to build a game studio that relies on Unity again? And how can game developers trust that Unity won't try to do this again in the future? The creator of Gary's mod and the Rust game said it best in a blog post titled Unity can get f***. He says, we used the engine because you pay up front and then ship your product. We have spent 10 years making Rust on Unity's engine. We have paid them every year and now they change the rules. He says the trust is gone and that Rust 2 will definitely not be a Unity game. It is really hard to tell what happens right now. Even if Unity changes the policy and allows game developers themselves to self-report installations, that is just giving developers a new job to do, tracking installs. Even if they lower the fee, it is a new fee that did not exist before. That that many people see as unfair anyways. Or if they make the thresholds higher, that will still mean that it will be scary as a game developer to succeed when using Unity 3D. Many people are saying that by doing this, Unity has single-handedly given victory to Unreal Engine, an engine with just a 5% fee. No thresholds, installed tracking, tiers, licenses, etc. Also, this is a super win for open source engines like Godot, where many developers of the Unity cam are moving to. Overall, I feel sorry for the people working with Unity. It must feel incredibly infuriating to go through something like this. I also feel sorry for the people that published courses or tutorials and devoted lots of time to teaching and learning a software that became almost radioactive for the game industry overnight. Or the people that were in the middle of making a game in Unity. Will they finish and release the game? Or will they have to move to a different engine and refactor the game completely? What a nightmare. I want to know what you think on the comments. Let me know what your opinion is of all this. And let me know after everything that has happened, if you would still trust Unity, even if they do a complete U-turn and cancel their plans. I don't know if I could. Companies should not take developers for granted. No one likes it when you mix with their livelihoods. If a tool is not reliable, developers will find a different, better one. I hope you liked the video and found it informative and useful. If you did, please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget that if you want to learn to code for free, all you have to do is click the link below where you can take free courses on JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, Next.js and many others all for free. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamsahago, saranghamida, see you on the next one. Tambayo, bye bye.